Introduction Who wouldn't want to be known as the greatest sales closer on the planet? The one who can seal deals with finesse and confidence, leaving prospects feeling satisfied and valued. Well, my friend, you're in for a treat. Welcome to the ultimate guide to closing, mastering the 100 greatest sales scripts on the planet your passport to sales superstardom. This book isn't just a guide, it's a roadmap designed for the passionate, the persistent, and the dedicated. It's for those who believe that every no only brings them closer to a yes. If you're someone hungry to climb to the top of the sales ladder, to shatter those sales records and leave a lasting legacy, then this book is your golden ticket. But what's inside this book that makes it so special? Well, you're about to dive into the ocean of sales wisdom, so brace yourself. We've got the three power pillars that will take you from being a salesperson to a sales phenomenon. First, we've curated the 100 greatest closing sales scripts on the planet. Yes, you heard that right. We're handing you the key to the kingdom, the scripts that the best in the business use to close deal after deal. You'll learn how to handle any customer, the fence sitters, the skeptics, and even the ever dreaded I'll think about it types. Next, we're serving up the snappiest transition statements to keep your prospects glued to the conversation. These aren't just sentences, they're bridges that connect ideas and keep your prospects engaged and invested. Master these, and you'll not just sell, you'll captivate. And finally, we're arming you with words that don't just speak, they sell. These are the power words that strike chords, stir emotions, and drive action. They are the secret ingredients that make your sales pitch irresistible. So here it is, your journey to sales stardom starts here. Let's make every conversation count, every opportunity a closed deal, and every no a stepping stone to the next yes. Open the book, flip the page, and step into the world of closing sales like a pro. Welcome to the ultimate guide to closing, mastering the 100 greatest sales scripts on the planet. Your sales revolution begins now. Let's delve into the first 20 powerful closing scripts you can begin with. Each entry will provide the title, the script text, and the ideal context in which it should be used. Number 1. The Summary Close The script, based on what you've told me, our product fits your needs perfectly. It's within your budget, it solves your issue with X, and it also offers Y which you were hoping for. Would you like to go ahead with the purchase? When to use it, after you've discussed the customer's needs and shown how your product meets them. 2. The Assumptive Close The script, great, we've covered all the details. Shall I put this order through for you now, or would you prefer a different delivery date? When to use it, when the customer has shown positive signal, but needs that little nudge to commit. 3. The Option Close the script, would you like the standard package, or would our premium package better suit your needs? When to use it, when you're dealing with an indecisive customer who may benefit from having clear opt for, the urgency close. The script, this offer is only available for the rest of the week. Would you like to secure it now to make sure you don't miss out? When to use it, when there is a legitimate time-sensitive opportunity, or discount. 5. The objection solicitation close. The script, do you have any more questions or concerns that are preventing you from making this decision? When to use it, when the customer seems hesitant but you're not sure why, 6. The testimonial close. The script, prospect, hunch, but after using our product, they saw a 40% increase in their efficiency. Would you like to experience similar results? When to use it, when the customer is unsure about the product's effectiveness. 7. The Scale Close The script, on a scale from 1 to 10, how would you rate your readiness to proceed with this solution? When to use it, when you want to gauge a customer's interest or readiness to buy. 8. The Value Recap Close With the features we've discussed, you're not just buying a product. You're investing in increased productivity, enhanced efficiency, reduced operational costs, improved customer satisfaction, and future-proofed business solutions. How does that sound? When to use it, when you need to remind the customer of the product's value proposition? 9. The Sharp Angle Close The script, if I can arrange a 15% discount for the first six months, would you be ready to move forward with the purchase? When to use it, when the customer is asking for something additional, and you're prepared to meet that condition. 10. The Next Step Close 
The script, so, the next step is to decide on delivery and installation dates. Does next Tuesday work for you? When to use it, when the customer is generally agreeable, but hasn't made a commitment yet. 11. The takeaway close. The script, considering your needs and budget, it may be best to start with our basic package rather than the premium one. Does that sound more manageable? When to use it, when you sense that the customer might be overwhelmed or concerned about the cost. 12. The future projection close. The script, imagine how much smoother your operations will be six months from now with our software in place. Shall we get started on that path today? When to use it, when your customer needs to visualize the long-term benefits. 13. The fear of FOMO close. The script, just so you know, this is the last item we have in stock at this promotional price. Would you like me to reserve it for you? When to use it, when you're confident that the customer is interested but just needs that final push. 14. The empathy close. The script, I understand that making this kind of decision can be tough. When I was in your position, I found that adopting a cloud-based data backup solution really made a difference. It provided peace of mind knowing that our data was safe and accessible from anywhere. Shall we try it? When to use it, when you want to show understanding and build trust. 15. The companion close. The script, many customers who bought this high-speed printer also found this premium quality printer paper useful. Would you like to add it to your order? When to use it, when you want to upsell or suggest a related product. 16. The conditional close. The script, if we can deliver by your requested date, are you ready to proceed with the order? When to use it, when the customer has a specific request or condition. 17. The inoffensive close. The script, do you need more time to think about it, or is there something about the offer that doesn't match your expectations? When to use it, when you feel there's an objection or concern that hasn't been voiced. 18. The authority close. The script, our CEO was in a similar situation, and this solution worked wonders for them. Would you like to try it? When to use it, when your customer might be influenced by knowing that high-level professionals or experts use your product, service. 19. The heroic close. The script, by choosing this eco-friendly product, you're not just meeting your needs, you're also helping the planet. Shall we process this order? When to use it, when you're selling a product or service that aligns with a greater cause. 20. The comparison close. The script, while competitor X's product does offer Y, our product not only offers Y but also Z+, we have superior customer service. Would you like to get the better deal with us? When to use it, when your customer is considering a competitor's offer. Craft the script in your own words, aligning it with your personal style and tone. Rehearse it repeatedly until it seamlessly integrates with your communication style and feels uniquely yours. Now, let's proceed to explore the next set of powerful closing scripts. Each will provide the title, precise wording of the script, and guidance on when it's best to use it. 21. The walkaway close. The script, I understand if you need more time to consider this. Why don't we reconnect next week after you've had a chance to think about it? When to use it when a customer genuinely seems to need time to think it over. 22. The similar situation close. The script, another business in your industry had a similar issue and found our solution very effective. Can we try this solution for your business? When to use it, when customers need reassurance that your product or service works in their specific context. 23. The agenda close. The script, if we could address all your concerns today, do you see any reason why you would not move forward with our product, service? When to use it, when you're close to the end of your sales pitch and want to address any remaining hesitations. 24. The puppy dog close. The script, why don't we give you a free trial of our product? You can see exactly how it works and decide if it's the right fit for you. When to use it, when customers need that extra assurance before committing, much like trying out a puppy dog before adopting it. 25. The partnership close. The script, we see this as the beginning of a strong business relationship. Shall we start this journey together? When to use it, when you want to emphasize the long-term benefits of working together. 26. The concession close. 
The script, if I can get you the extra feature you want, will you be ready to proceed with the order today? When to use it, when customers need just a bit more incentive to close. 27. The negative assumption close. The script, if there was one thing holding you back from buying today, what would it be? When to use it, when you want to identify and overcome a final objection. 28. The alternate choice close. The script, would you prefer the silver model that comes with a two-year warranty or the black one with extended battery life? When to use it, when presenting different options, all leading to a purchase. 29. The affordability close. The script, if we can work out a payment plan that fits your budget, would you be ready to proceed today? When to use it, when customers are interested but worried about the cost. 30. The handshake close. The script, it's been great discussing your needs and how our product can meet them. Shall we shake on it and start this new venture together? When to use it, in person, when the deal seems nearly finalized and just needs that last confirmation. 31. The emotional close. The script, imagine the relief of having this issue solved once and for all with our solution. Shall we get started with this positive change? When to use it, when emotional appeal is more impactful, especially for solving pain points. 32. The direct close. The script, you seem really interested in this. Are you ready to purchase today? When to use it, when the customer has shown strong buying signals and needs a direct approach. 33. The return on investment ROI close. The script, by investing in our service now, you'll save more money in the long run. Shall we proceed with the order? When to use it, when you need to demonstrate the value and savings your product or service offers. 34. The lost sale close. The script, if you decide not to purchase this product, what would your alternative be? When to use it, when you need to challenge the prospect to consider what they would miss out on. 35. The if I could, would you close? The script, if I could get the delivery expedited, would you be willing to place the order today? When to use it, when the customer has a special request that you can fulfill. 36. The invitational close. The script, why don't you come over for a demo next Tuesday and see if our product can suit your needs? When to use it, when the customer needs to see and experience your product before making a decision. 37. The extra value close. The script, if I include an additional hour of support each month at no extra cost, would you sign the contract today? When to use it, when you can add value that costs you little but means a lot to the customer. 38. The need satisfaction close. The script, so, our product ticks all your boxes, it solves A, improves B, and prevents C shall we move forward. When to use it, after reviewing how your product or service meets the customer's needs and wants. 39. The probe for objections close. The script, what other information do you need before you can make a buying decision? When to use it, when the customer is hesitating but has not revealed their specific objections. 40. The compliment close. The script, I can tell you really understand your needs and the value of our product. You're making a great choice. Shall we finalize the details? When to use it, when you want to validate the customer's decision-making and boost their confidence in the purchase. Next, let's continue our journey and delve into the powerful closing scripts 41 to 60. Each script will encompass the title, exact wording, and instructions on the perfect situation to use it. 41. The Ego Close The script, as an expert in your field, you can certainly see the benefits of using our solution. Are you ready to get started? When to use it, when you want to flatter the customer's knowledge and experience. 42. The Anticipation Close The script, once you start using our product, you'll wonder how you ever managed without it, ready to give it a try. When to use it, when your product offers significant benefits and improvements to the customer's situation. 43. The Reduction to Ridiculous Close The script, if we break it down, this product would cost you less than a cup of coffee a day. It's quite a deal, isn't it? When to use it, when price is a concern, and you need to demonstrate how minimal the cost is when broken down. 44. The trial close. 
The script, how do you feel about what we've discussed so far? When to use it, when you want to check and engage the prospect's feelings before moving towards the final close. 45. The Benjamin Franklin Close The script lets make a list of pros and cons, just like Benjamin Franklin did when making decisions. That way, we can visualize the advantages and decide whether they outweigh any potential downsides. When to use it, when the customer is analytical and may appreciate this rational approach to decision-making. 46. The something for nothing close. The script, if you make a purchase today, I'll throw in an additional service worth $200 for free. Sound good. When to use it, when an additional bonus could tip the balance and convince the customer to buy. 47. The question close. The script, what's going to be easier for you, continuing with your current challenges or giving our solution a try to see if it improves your situation. When to use it, when you want to make the customer question their current situation and consider the benefits of your product. 48. The suggestion close. The script, from everything we've discussed, I'd suggest the pro package. It has everything you're looking for at a price point within your budget. Shall we go ahead with that one? When to use it, when the customer values your expertise and guidance. 49. The 1, 2, 3 close. The script, there are three main reasons our product is a great fit for you. 1. It enhances your team's productivity with its user-friendly interface and automation capabilities. 2. It reduces operational costs with its energy-efficient features. 3. It ensures business continuity with its reliable and robust design. Shall we proceed with this? When to use it, when you want to summarize and highlight the key reasons the customer should buy. 50. The possibility close. The script, just imagine what you could achieve with our product supporting your needs. Ready to explore these possibilities together. When to use it, when your product or service opens up significant opportunities for the customer. 51. The opinion close. The script, from your perspective, how do you see our product fitting into your plan? When to use it, when you want to get the prospect's view and make them visualize the integration of your product. 52. The magic wand close. The script, if you had a magic wand and could change anything about your current situation, what would it be? Let's see if our solution can make that change for you. When to use it, when you want to understand the prospect's needs better and demonstrate how your product or service can meet them. 53. The Objection Resolution Close The script, you mentioned that you're concerned about the integration process with your existing systems. What if we could find a way to solve that for you with dedicated onboarding support and seamless compatibility? When to use it, when you need to address and overcome a specific objection that the prospect has. 54. The now or never close. The script, this offer is only good until the end of the day. If you're ready to take advantage of it, I suggest we move forward now. When to use it, when you want to create a sense of urgency for a limited time offer. 55. The summary close. The script, so, we've talked about how our product can help with A, B, and C, and you mentioned that those are key areas you want to improve. Does it sound like a good match for your needs? When to use it, when you want to summarize and highlight the key points of your conversation before closing. 56. The value highlight close. The script, given that our product provides the solution you're looking for and fits within your budget, shall we proceed with the purchase? When to use it, when you want to emphasize the value and affordability of your product. 57. The testimonial close. The script, one of our customers in a similar situation saw significant improvements within a month of using our product. Can I share their story with you? When to use it, when you need to build trust and demonstrate proven results. 58. The sharp angle close. The script, if I can get you the financing options you asked for, are you ready to sign the contract today? When to use it, when the prospect asks for a concession, and you can provide it in exchange for the close. 59. The Assumptive Close The script, so, shall we set up delivery for next Wednesday, or would Friday be more convenient for you? When to use it, when the conversation is positive, and you're fairly confident the customer is ready to buy. 
60, the option close. The script, would you prefer to start with our standard package or the premium package with additional features? When to use it, when offering choices that all lead to a sale, but let the prospect feel in control of the decision. Let's proceed to uncover the next set of powerful closing scripts, numbered 61 to 80. Each script will present the title, exact phrasing, and guidance on the optimal circumstances to deploy it. 61. The Empathy Close The script, I can see how challenging this decision might be for you. What if we started with a small initial order so you can evaluate our product? When to use it, when the prospect is hesitant or appears overwhelmed by the decision. 62. The Golden Bridge Close the script, it seems like our product is really the best solution for your current challenges. Let's cross this bridge to better results together. What do you say? When to use it, when you want to portray your product as the path to better outcomes. 63. The Comparative Close The script, when you compare our product with others in the market, you'll find that we offer more value for your investment. Shall we proceed with the order? When to use it, when the customer is considering other options, and you want to highlight your competitive advantage. 64. The Logical Close The script, since our solution solves your problem, it makes sense to get started right away, doesn't it? When to use it, when the customer appreciates clear, logical thinking, and your product meets their needs. 65. The Visualization Close the script, imagine achieving your goals effortlessly with our product. Can you see it happening? Shall we make this a reality? When to use it, when you want the customer to envision the positive results they can achieve with your product. 66. The Future Close The script, how about we schedule a training session for your team next week so they can get started using our product right away. When to use it, when you want to move the conversation forward by planning future actions. 67. The Scale of 1 to 10 Close The script, on a scale of 1 to 10, how ready do you feel to move forward with our product? When to use it, when you want to gauge a prospect's readiness and identify any remaining objections. 68. The Thermometer Close The script, are we warm, cold, or hot in terms of moving forward with our solution? When to use it, when you want to check in with the prospect's feelings and guide them towards the purchase. 69. The Authority Close The script, your manager mentioned how our product could benefit your team. Shall we proceed with setting it up? When to use it, when a higher up has given the green light, but you're speaking with a subordinate. 70. The Fear of Loss Close The script, our product is in high demand and I can't guarantee it'll still be available next week. Would you like to secure yours now? When to use it, when you want to create a sense of scarcity and urgency. 71. The last chance close. The script, this is the final batch of this product we have in stock, and we're not sure when we'll get more. Would you like to secure one now? When to use it, when you want to create a sense of urgency due to limited supply. 72. The Scale Tipper Close The script, on one hand, you have the inconvenience of your current situation. On the other hand, you have our product which eliminates that inconvenience, ready to tip the scale towards a solution. When to use it, when you want to highlight the cost of inaction versus the benefits of your product. 73. The Negative Assumption Close The script, what could be the reason for you not to proceed with this solution? When to use it, when you want to uncover any hidden objections or hesitations. 74. The Elevator Close The script, imagine we're in an elevator, and you've got until we reach your floor to decide. Does our product get to your floor? When to use it, when you want to put a time constraint on the decision, creating a sense of urgency. 75. The Puppy Dog Close The script, why don't you give our product a try for a couple of weeks, and if you don't love it, we'll take it back. No questions asked. When to use it, when you want to alleviate any risk associated with purchasing your product. 76. The justification close. The script, given how much you'll save over time, it would be like paying for itself within a few months, right? When to use it, when you need to justify the initial cost of the product in relation to its long-term saving. 
77. The step-by-step -step close. The script lets break this down into smaller decisions. First, do you agree that our product solves your problem? Great. Now, let's look at the pricing. When to use it, when you want to make the decision process easier by dividing it into smaller parts. 78. The hero close. The script, by choosing our solution, you'll be the hero in your company, solving this problem for everyone, ready to wear the cape. When to use it, when you want to highlight the impact the prospect's decision will have on their team or company. 79. The partner close. The script, by moving forward with us, you're not just buying a product, you're gaining a partner. We're ready to support you every step of the way. Shall we start this journey together? When to use it, when you want to emphasize the ongoing support and relationship your company offers. 80. The walkaway close. The script, our product may not be the best fit for everyone, but from what you've told me about your needs, it sounds like it could really help you. What do you think? When to use it, when you want to reverse the pressure and let the prospect make the decision without feeling pushed. Now, let's move forward and dive into the next suite of powerful closing scripts, ranging from 81 to 100. Each will detail the title, precise wording, and suggest the best context for its use. 81. The Success Story Close The script, one of our clients faced a similar situation, and they found our solution tremendously helpful. Can I share their story with you? When to use it when you want to establish credibility and trust through real-life success story. 82. The Bracket Close The script, we have three different plans, basic, standard, and premium. The basic covers the essentials, the premium includes all advanced features, and the standard falls right in between. Which one suits your needs the best? When to use it when offering options that cater to different budget or requirement levels, giving the prospect a sense of control over the decision. 83. The Sports Analogy Close the script, if we think of this as a basketball game, we're already in the fourth quarter with just seconds left on the clock. Are you ready to make the winning shot? When to use it, when you want to build excitement and create urgency with a sports-minded prospect. 84. The Extra Mile Close The script, if you purchase today, will include a complimentary training session for your team. We're committed to going the extra mile for our customers. When to use it, when you can provide additional value and differentiate yourself from the competition. 85. The Lost Sale Close The script, if you choose not to buy, what alternative solution do you have in mind to tackle your current issues? When to use it, when you want to challenge the prospect to consider the implications of not making a purchase. 86. The Perspective Close The script, I know the price might seem high, but considering the ROI, it's a drop in the bucket, right? When to use it, when you need to help the prospect view the price from a different, more beneficial perspective. 87. The handwriting on the wall close. The script, given all we've discussed, it seems like our product is the clear choice. Would you agree? When to use it, when all signs point to your product as the solution, and you need to highlight this. 88. The inoffensive close. The script, do you need more time to think about this, or is there something about our product that doesn't work for you? When to use it, when you want to address any hidden objections without putting the prospect on the spot. 89. The possibility close. The script, imagine how great it would be to achieve your desired results with our product. Shall we make this happen? When to use it, when you want the prospect to envision the positive outcomes of using your product. 90. The compliment close. The script, I must say, I'm impressed with how well you understand what you need. Our product fits perfectly with your requirements. Let's get this moving forward, shall we? When to use it, when you want to compliment the prospect's decision-making abilities and assert the suitability of your product. 91. The anticipation close. The script, once you start using our product, I'm confident you'll start seeing results quickly. Are you ready to get started? When to use it, when you want to build anticipation and excitement about the potential results of your product. 92. The Reversal Close The script, if you were in my shoes, and I was in yours, wouldn't you think now is the right time to move forward with this solution? 
when to use it, when you want the prospect to view the situation from your perspective, possibly uncovering new insights. 93. The Probability Close The script, on a scale of 1 to 100, how likely are you to proceed with our product? When to use it, when you want to get a quantified sense of the prospect's interest level. 94. The ROI Close The script, considering the ROI our product can generate for you, it's practically an investment, wouldn't you agree? When to use it, when you want to highlight the return on investment the customer will gain from your product. 95. The Benjamin Franklin Close the script, why don't we follow Benjamin Franklin's method and make a list of the pros and cons of our product. It might make your decision easier. When to use it, when you want to appeal to the prospect's logical side and help them visualize the benefits of your product. 96. The stay in touch close. The script, I can see you're not quite ready to make a decision today. That's okay. Let's touch base in a few weeks and see if anything has changed. Does that sound good? When to use it, when you want to keep the door open for future discussions without pressuring the prospect. 97. The Hero's Journey Close The script, your business is on a journey, and our product can be the guide you need to overcome your current challenges. Are you ready to embark on this adventure? When to use it, when you want to position your product as the solution to the prospect's story or challenge. 98. The Common Enemy Close the script, we both know how challenging data security can be in today's digital world. Our product was designed to tackle this exact issue with its advanced encryption and multi-level authentication features. Shall we join forces and overcome it? When to use it, when you want to bond over a shared problem and present your product as the shared solution. 99. The standstill close. The script, if nothing changes in your current situation, where will you be in a year? Our product can bring the change you're looking for. What do you think? When to use it, when you want to highlight the consequences of inaction and propose your product as the catalyst for change. 100. The This Is It Close The script, this is the moment where you can choose a new direction for your business. Are you ready to take this step with our product? When to use it, when you want to build momentum towards a decision and emphasize the importance of this moment. Now, let's delve into the bonus section, focusing on transition statements. I will provide each transition statement first, along with a concise explanation. Let's unravel these together. 1. Now that we've addressed that, let's move on to Shifts focus smoothly after addressing a concern or topic. 2. Speaking of which Segues into a related topic that naturally flows from the previous conversation. 3. Let's put that into perspective by Pivots to a broader view or closer examination of a subject. 4. It's interesting you mentioned that, because. Responds directly to a prospect's comment, and bridges to your next point. 5. This brings us to the next part. A clear signal that you're moving on to a new topic or area of discussion. 6. I'm glad you asked that. It leads us right into. Transitions from a question into a relevant topic or point. 7. With that in mind, a subtle shift that builds on the previous topic to introduce a new point. 8. Considering what we just discussed. Connects the current discussion to a new, related point. 9. That's a perfect segue into. Highlights a natural connection between topics. 10. This ties in nicely with. Links two related points together. 11. Let's switch gears for a moment and discuss. Signals a change to a new or different topic. 12. I'm sure you're wondering about. Anticipates a prospect's question and transitions into answering it. 13. Building on that. Expands on a point or topic that's just been discussed. 14. Here's why that's important. Moves from a fact or statement to its implications or importance. 15. Before we move forward, let's quickly touch on. Briefly introduces an important point before proceeding. 16. In relation to that. Draws a connection between two topics. 17. Since we're on the subject. Continues the conversation on a topic that's already been brought up. 18. If we take a step back, we'll see. Zooms out for a broader perspective on a topic. 
19. The next thing I'd like to discuss is clearly and simply moves the conversation forward. 20. Just to elaborate a bit more. Deepens the discussion on a current point. 21. Another key point is. Introduces another important topic or fact. 22. Let's circle back to our main topic. Returns to the main discussion after a tangent or related point. 23. Now, you might be wondering. Anticipates and addresses a prospect's possible question or concern. 24. This reminds me of. Draws on a story, analogy, or case study related to the topic. 25. That's a common concern, and here's how we address it. Transitions from a prospect's objection to your response. 26. Based on what you've told me. Indicates that you've been listening and are about to link back to something the prospect said. 27. You're probably curious about. Preempts a question you suspect your prospect may have. 28. I see where you're coming from, and acknowledges a prospect's viewpoint before moving on to a related point. 29. This might surprise you, but grabs attention and prepares the prospect for unexpected information. 30. While we're on this topic, it's worth mentioning. Adds valuable information related to the current discussion. 31. That's an excellent point, which brings me to Complements the prospect and transitions into your next point. 32. Let's take a look at this from a different angle. Changes perspective on a topic. 33. Just imagine if. Encourages the prospect to visualize a situation or outcome. 34. That ties in with what we've heard from other customers, who. Connects the 35. Current conversation to experiences from other customers. 35. Now, let's extrapolate this. Moves from a specific point to a more general or future outcome. 36. That's just one aspect. Additionally, indicates that there's more to the story or topic. 37. Interestingly enough, prepares the prospect for an interesting or surprising fact. 38. This naturally leads us to. Suggests that the next point is a logical step in the conversation. 39. Let's revisit what we talked about earlier. Goes back to an earlier point in the conversation. 40. Just to put things into context. Prepares to provide background or additional information. 41. What this really comes down to is. Moves from details to a more fundamental or core issue. 42. The other side of the coin is. Introduces a different perspective on a topic. 43. To give you a fuller picture. Prepares to add more details or information. 44. Now, this brings us to a crucial point. Signals that you're about to make a key argument or share vital information. 45. Let's dig a little deeper into. Suggests that you're about to go into more detail on a subject. 46. If we connect the dots here. Sets up a summary or overview of various points. 47. As a side note. Prepares the prospect for information that's not central to your main argument, but still worth mentioning. 48. But here's the kicker. Grabs attention before delivering an impactful point or surprising fact. 49. Let's fast forward a bit. Suggests that you're about to discuss future implications or outcomes. 50. Bear with me as I bring up another point. Politely requests patience as you add another point to the discussion. Words that sell. Now we're set to explore 50 words that sell, a collection of powerful, persuasive language to enhance your sales pitch. Let's dive in. Number 1. You. Make your prospect the main focus. Number 2. Free. Everyone loves to get something for nothing. Number 3. Guarantee. Offers a sense of safety and risk-free decision-making. Number 4. New. Signals innovation or fresh ideas. Number 5. Prove it. Proven. Gives reassurance based on past success. Number 6. Results. Showcases the tangible outcomes they can expect. Number 7. Exclusive. Makes the prospect feel special and part of an elite group. Number 8. Limited. 
generates urgency by suggesting scarcity. Number 9. Easy. Addresses a common desire for simplicity. Number 10. Now. Encourages immediate action. Number 11. Imagine. Engages the prospect's mind and helps them envision outcomes. Number 12. Instant. Speaks to our desire for immediate gratification. Number 13. How to. Signals that you're about to provide useful instruction or information. Number 14. Save. Appeals to the prospect's desire for efficiency or frugality. Number 15. Premium. Implies high quality or superiority. Number 16. Safe. Suggests that the choice is low risk or protected. Number 17. Value. Highlights the benefit and worth of your offering. Number 18. Bonus. Signals an unexpected extra reward or benefit. Number 19. Yes. A positive word that evokes agreement. Number 20. Transform. Suggests a significant, positive change. Number 21. Solution. Shows that you have the answer to a problem. Number 22. Revolutionary. Implies groundbreaking and significant impact. Number 23. Discover. Invokes a sense of exploration and finding something valuable. Number 24. Love. A powerful, emotional word that connects with people on a deep level. Number 25. Trust. A critical factor in any purchase decision. Number 26. Increase. Suggests growth or improvement. Number 27. Maximize. Implies getting the most out of a situation or product. Number 28. Unlimited. Gives a sense of boundless possibilities or resources. Number 29. Reliable. Imparts a feeling of dependability and trustworthiness. Number 30. Special. Makes prospects feel unique or privileged. Number 31. Lifetime. Implies a long-lasting or permanent solution. Number 32. Authentic. Promotes trust through genuineness and sincerity. Number 33. Accelerate. Implies quickness, momentum, and progress. Number 34. Advantage. Positions your offering as superior to others. Number 35. Breakthrough. Indicates significant progress or an innovative solution. Number 36. Efficient. Suggests an offering that saves time or resources. Number 37. Empower. Makes prospects feel in control and capable. Number 38. Innovative. Shows that your offering is on the cutting edge. Number 39. Quality. Implies a high standard of workmanship or value. Number 40. Reward. Suggests a benefit or return on investment. Number 41. Secure. Gives a sense of safety and protection. Number 42. Unique. Positions your offering as one of a kind. Number 43. Yes. A simple but powerful word that evokes agreement and positivity. Number 44. Boost. Implies an upward lift or improvement. Number 45. Exciting. Injects energy and anticipation into the conversation. Number 46. Experience. Shows that your offering delivers more than just a product. Number 47. Improve. Positions your offering as a tool for betterment. Number 48. Personalize. Suggests a customizable an individualized experience. Number 49. Rare. Makes your offering seem scarce and therefore more desirable. Number 50. Transformative. Suggests a major, positive change or impact. Conclusion. Congratulations, my friend, you've journeyed far and wide. You've navigated the vast oceans of sales, scaled the towering heights of persuasion, and explored the deep crevices of rejection to unearth your triumphs. 
It's time now to reflect on your transformative journey and gear up for the upcoming adventures. The ultimate guide to closing, mastering the 100 greatest sales scripts on the planet isn't merely an audio guide, it's a journey of metamorphosis. These audios have equipped you with the most powerful arsenal in the sales realm. Potent closing scripts, captivating transition statements, and compelling words that sell. However, remember that these tools are as influential as the individual wielding them. The onus lies on you to put them into play. You've learned the top 100 closing scripts leveraged by the most successful salespeople to clinch deal, navigate varied sales scenarios with poise and flair. You've uncovered transition statements that keep your prospects hooked, direct the dialogue, and maintain the tempo. Lastly, you've examined persuasive words that sell, words capable of eliciting emotions, building trust, and triggering action. But bear in mind, the true essence of sales success doesn't solely lie in the scripts, transitions, or even the words. It resides in you, the salesperson. Your ability to empathize with your prospects, comprehend their needs, and convey value in a manner that resonates with them truly matters. It's about your tenacity, resilience, and unyielding faith in the value you're presenting. So, as you finish this book and re-engage with the world, remember that every conversation presents an opportunity, every rejection is a stepping stone towards acceptance, and every obstacle is an opportunity for growth. Recall the strength of the scripts, transitions, and words you've learned here. But above all, remember the power that you possess. Ultimately, the most potent sales script is the one delivered with conviction, empathy, and an authentic belief in the value being offered. So, set forth, unleash the power of these tools, and craft your unique sales script. Kudos on your journey thus far, and cheers to the countless successful closes in your future. Welcome to the conclusion of the ultimate guide to closing, mastering the 100 greatest sales scripts on the planet. Now, stride forward and master the sales cosmos. Closing remarks. Dear listeners, as we draw this comprehensive guide to a close, we want to acknowledge the time and effort you've invested into this learning journey. It's a testament to your dedication towards honing your skills and your commitment to your craft. You've sifted through powerful scripts, transition statements, and persuasive words. You've acquainted yourself with the tools, strategies, and techniques that set the greatest salespeople apart. Remember, this is only the beginning, the practical application of these lessons. Integrating them into your own style and routine will make the real difference. Take these words, these scripts, these techniques, and use them not just as they are, but as a foundation upon which you can build. Adapt them, make them your own, and watch as they transform your approach to sales and your interactions with prospects. This journey has been about more than just words on a page. It's been about fostering empathy, understanding, and connection, qualities that stand at the very heart of successful sales. You have the knowledge, and now it's time to put it into action. As you step forward, remember that you are the artist and these tools are merely your paint. It's your passion, drive, and determination that will bring the canvas to life. Thank you for embarking on this journey with us. We look forward to hearing about your successes, your learnings, and how these scripts have shaped your path. Until then, continue to learn, continue to grow, and remember that every no is simply a stepping stone to your next yes. Here's to your success in sales and beyond. Delmar Sosi.